is this not a vibe? If y'all love this jacket, I know that and this is just the beginning, but if you love this jacket as much as I do, just leave three black hearts. I know there's going to be a lot of three black hearts in the comments because how cool, how cool. And then just that little peak of skin at the back. It's the details for me, guys. Like, look at that. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new video. I'm so excited, very giddy about this video, as you guys can tell, because it's all about spring, new in pieces for spring, spring cleaning. Um, it's all about getting ready for the new season. So, this video will consist of a fun little haul in partnership with Urban Revivo. You guys know I've worked with them before and I can't wait to jump into this outfit. I think that's why I'm super excited because the outfit is just everything and wait till you see the pieces that I have. But before I share that, so in addition to the outfit haul, I will also be sharing the things I'm tossing out for spring. So we're doing a little spring cleaning here today. In addition to the things I'm tossing out and the things I will not be doing for spring 2024, I will also share some items on my wish list. And it's gonna be a really fun video. I'm very, very excited about this video and I think you guys should be too. So if that all sounds like a vibe to you, go ahead, get your popcorn, your wine, whatever you need to just sit back, relax and enjoy as I share all these goodies for spring 2024. Let's get into it. Because you guys are my all stars, I know that when you open this video and you saw this situation going on, you were like, what is that? What is she wearing? Yes, this, jacket crop top situation is from urban revival as well as another i think about four or five looks that i'm going to share with you this portion of the video is a paid partnership with urban revival like i mentioned earlier i have partnered with the brand in the past and i was so happy to partner with the brand again especially because they have so many amazing things especially for spring so if you are not familiar with urban revival they started in 2006 um, urbanrevival.com officially became a website in 2021. I think I start, worked with them in 2021 as well. And this is a brand that creates a lot of very wearable, runway inspired fashions. They have tons of fashion. They deliver trending pieces to you, great quality. And you guys will see all of that because you all know I'm all about the quality, right? And the fabrics and all the things. So. I would say if this was my first time, I would have been pleasantly surprised, but because I have pieces from Urban Revival that I've had for years that I continue to wear and continue to share with you guys, I already know that the fabric quality is there, the design is there, the fit. I was a little like, okay, I hope everything fits well because I legit just opened the package and started trying all this stuff and I was just like, everything fits so well and it's true to size. So I'm wearing my, my true sizes for everything, but enough of the rambling, enough of all of that stuff, let's get into these outfits because the pieces are everything. Y'all know I get super, probably overly excited when it comes to fashion and putting on outfits. And when you see these looks, you'll understand why. Now let's, let, let me show you guys the full look. <laughs> Okay, so we know that Beyonce has made Western core a thing. So a lot of the pieces that I bought are very much, you know, kind of flowing into that trend without being overly into it. So I really wanted to make Western my own without being overly Western because I'm not really, I wouldn't really say I'm a Western fashion girly, but there are elements of Western style that I can appreciate. And that's why I ordered some of the pieces I did, starting off with this denim dress. I'm gonna go to the side so it can pop up. Can you see the halter on this? Can you see the fullness of the skirt of the dress? I am obsessed. When I tell you it fits like a glove, I'm not kidding. I'm always a little abrasive because I am somewhat busty for my size. I do wear, a, I'm a true size small of four six US and this fits like a glove. The buttons are just everything. It's the details for me. You know, in addition to fabric and fit, 
it's those little details in my opinion that elevate a garment that make them look more expensive than they are because everything on urban revival is super affordable um and it's just very attainable and we like that everybody in my opinion we all need to start elevating our looks and you guys that have been following me for a minute you already know that every day is a day to dress up every day is a day to show up and show out and i'm all here for it and these are pieces that you can really incorporate into your wardrobe that will work with things you have already and will really just elevate your overall look so back to the dress um i paired the dress with a pair of western boots to kind of you know get well they're western modern <laughs> in a sense so not your traditional western but kind of to add to that vibe but then this jacket situation it's kind of just like sleeves but with the ruffle detail and you know i had a feeling that it would complement the dress but i didn't realize it would complement the dress the way it is because <gasps> the dress on its own is a vibe but then you throw this on <sighs> do you see this Look at the detail, the, the back, everything. Are you not obsessed? Are you not in love? I'm in love. I'm, I'm looking, if you see my eyes going this way, it's because I'm looking at the viewfinder and I'm looking at the way this outfit looks. You guys have no idea. Like, I'm ready to wear this out this weekend because it is everything. Everything. In addition to wearing this jacket situation with a denim dress, I can wear this with a tank top. I can wear this with other fitted dresses, fitted pieces. I would highly recommend to make sure you're wearing it with something that's fitted on top and then just kind of flares out. So you've got the volume on top and then the volume of the skirt and it's so well balanced. Like, is this not a vibe? If y'all love this jacket, I know that and this is just the beginning, but if you love this jacket as much as I do, just leave three black hearts. I know there's gonna be a lot of three black hearts in the comments because how cool, how cool. And then just that little peak of skin at the back. It's the details for me, guys. Like, look at that. Mm. Okay, on to the next. All right. Another outfit that just stole my heart. I'm obsessed. Um, what I'm wearing, this look doesn't necessarily particularly fall. I said doesn't necessarily particularly, same difference. But it doesn't necessarily fall into any of the categories or the trends that we're seeing a lot of right now however the two pieces that i'm wearing right now will forever live in your closet and that's what we want we want pieces that will live in your closet you know there's this misconception that you have to spend thousands of dollars to have pieces that will last or pieces that will live for many years and Coming from one that worked luxury retail for many, many, well over 20 years, I can attest that that's not true. Um, this particular look, these pieces, as long as I dry clean them, take care of them properly, they will live in my closet forever. And they're giving me runway. They're giving me high fashion. The only thing missing is that price tag. And I'm here for that. Oh, this is one thing I did not mention. Urban Revivo has new product every week, guys. So you will continue to see runway inspired pieces on the website on a weekly basis. Like how amazing is that? Like, do you, do y'all see this jacket? It's giving me quite a few designers in my head that I've seen very similar pieces, but with the astronomical price tags to go along with it. So these are pieces like this jacket top situation. It's actually not really a jacket. It's more of a top. You've got that beautiful gold button that's just kind of a statement that just pops against the black, which I love. And then you've got the buttons on the sleeves, but it's also cropped. But then it has this built in lace situation like this is part of the jacket. Like it's not separate. And it kind of like, you know, has a dip and goes forward. So it's almost it's giving me corset lace sexy. But it, it like, but it's a jacket corset one and like I'm obsessed and it doesn't come apart. It's legit one piece and it's stunning. Now, can we get into the pants? So I saw the pants. I think I saw the pants first and I was just like, sign me up for the pants because texture is a big trend this season. You're going to see a lot of texture. Um, and the pants are definitely giving me texture. They're giving me 3D. They're giving me the layers that I'm obsessed with. I would prefer if the pants were a little long because I am I'm five five and a half I like to round it up to five six however I do have long legs so if you have long legs be very mindful of that I'm still wearing them with heels I, I opted for a gold pair of heels to complement the gold um, button detail but if I were wearing them with my um, Valentino Roman studs which are flats and still have that pointy gold detail kind of showing when I walk 
then it would be a perfect length it would graze the ground but i'm wearing it with about a three and a half inch and to me i prefer my pants to be a little longer but the beauty of these pants even though they're a nice high rise i can actually still wear them lower so i was able to actually pull them down a little bit but you know we are high rise girlies we prefer that so um i i'm having it more of a high rise also too because of that detail on the side of the jacket where it's a little longer in the front if you want to show you know show off the skin on your sides you can do that too it kind of adds a sexy factor to it for me if i'm going to show off the sides, that means i'm showing off my stretch marks and i'd rather not so i won't be doing that but if you want to do that that's an option but it's just they're just so good they're so good and there's pockets the fabric is great you've got your um your button on the inside of the pants and then the second secondary um, um hook and eye it's just the fit the workmanship I'm really impressed. I'm very excited because I'm like thinking in my head, where am I wearing where am I wearing this to? My girlfriend is here as I'm filming this and I keep on going up to show her the looks. I'm like, look at this one, look at this one. And she's like, because we have a party that we're going to over the weekend and she's like, oh wear that one. And she's like, no, no, wear that one. I'm like, I like trust me, there's so much more. There's more. Let's keep on going. Honestly, this collection, it's doing it for me. It's doing all the things, it's doing everything it needs to do and some. So, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a quiet luxury girly, but I love elements of the trend because I love classic pieces and pretty much that's what the whole trend is about. I wouldn't call myself a mob bot, mob wife kind of girly either because, you know, there's a lot of gaudy elements, but I like... There's, there's elements that I love too. So I would say this look is where quiet luxury and mob, boff, mob wife meet. The set is a vibe. Sets are very much my thing and they're just an easy go-to regardless of summer, spring, all year round. But more so this spring, summer 2024, I'm seeing a lot of sets and I'm here for it. Not only does it make dressing easier, it just elevates your look. I just got back from Mexico and I wore a set every day and my cousin was with me and she was just like, it was so funny to her, the amount of people that would just stop and stare. And not that I overdid anything because my hair was jacked up, but the sets and the accessories, and that's where you get them every time. You get them with that beautiful set and you get them with accessories. And this one, this look is giving me very much Jackie O but let's elevate it let's do some let's have some fun with it right so the gold buttons are just excellent and that's why i kind of layered a little bit with these gold necklaces to kind of really emphasize that vibe especially because we're seeing a lot more of chunky and gold pieces is this not a vibe <laughs> i'm obsessed like clearly i'm feeling myself and then i popped on my um platform loafers with the same you know ivory detail the same gold detail this outfit is a vibe, y'all. Like, I am feeling myself, basically. I'm feeling myself. And in addition to just the knit being very comfortable, easy to wear, great fit, I love the fringe detail on, um, on the sweater and the skirt. I love the fact that you've got these pocket details. They're full pockets, but it still adds to the vibe. The fabric is probably a little thinner than what you would get in a Chanel or, you know, in a Valentino, but trust and believe this will still last me a good amount of years it fits very well it is very comfortable and it's breathable so it's perfect now that you know we're experiencing kind of in-between weather but it will you know easily graduate into the you know warmer seasons and i can wear the cardigan with other pieces layered i will technically wear these pieces all year round 100 percent. and then in terms of styling so i only did two buttons wearing just like a bralette under and then I did a half tuck in front so you can see the detail on the skirt because the skirt is very well detailed as well I actually have another denim jacket shirt situation that I'm going to pair with the skirt just to show how versatile it is but ah, I'm speechless and y'all know I like to talk so for me to be speechless I'm impressed I'm impressed you, you can pause for a second and just get this one but actually I feel like there's everything I showed so far you need to get but this cost for wear Stay tuned. Well, y'all already know. Y'all already know the outfit of the day, how I'm going to be styling this. First of all, this look, I'm doing a head to toe. I'm going to repeat this. Repeat offender right here. But yeah, separates, all the things. And with the platforms? Mm, okay. Let me try on the shirt too. Y'all see this? 
this denim shirt is a vibe. Okay, confession. It's a little fitted, a little tight through the waist. I've had lunch. I ate <laughs> all the things. So it's a little fitted, but the buttons are holding up well. It fits well. There's no pulling at the seams. That just goes to show the weight of the denim and the stitching and the workmanship is really good because to me it feels very fitted and I'm not, you know, y'all know I don't wear that many fitted clothes, but when the fabric is thick enough and there's no bulging or there's no pulling at the seams, it's a yes, it's a win for me. Okay, first of all, let's get into the sleeve detail. I love that it's slightly off the shoulder, but not too much, nor is it a rag on sleeve, but it kind of gives the illusion of that. The top stitch is a great contrast, so it makes it pop really well. I just wanted to be dramatic because I felt like, you know, this calls for drama. So I kind of popped my collar and allowed it to frame my face well as well as the jewelry. I only did two buttons to kind of really hold it in place and it's doing a great job. It's just really showing off my silhouette, right? I know a lot of times people are like, oh, you're a lot smaller than, <laughs> than I thought you were just because I don't wear fitted clothes that often and don't ask me why. That's, an, that's a story for another time, but this shows off my silhouette in a way that I love. And in addition to doing that, it's also showcasing the beauty of the skirt with the, you know, the button detail and just that middle seam that just kind of runs down that also makes you narrow and elongates the body a little bit. And the fact that this kind of opens up and kind of does like a little peplum without having a peplum, it just gives me a smaller waist. It gives the illusion of a smaller waist and fuller hips, which, you know, we like that. We like that. I also love the slit on the sleeve. You can kind of cuff it up and roll it up, but I like that kind of like I threw it on and didn't think about it look and I think you get that more so when you have the sleeve hanging down but if you want to show off your arm candy or whatnot you can kind of do like um one of these where it still looks kind of like I didn't think about it but technically you did <laughs> you see that see 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 but I like I said I prefer it this way because I just love that it frames my fingers and then I get to show off my rings um yeah skirt everything else on the bottom is the same it's just this denim shirt Ooh, this denim shirt and if you have like killer abs that you want to show off or if you just want to show off your stomach area this would also look good with a low rise pair of jeans y'all already know i'm a high rise girly but i can see that look showing off a little a bit of the midriff the belly button and then a, a low rise but pretty wide leg pair of jeans that would also look really good or dress pants or technically even with a high-rise dress pant. Actually, I can even wear it with the black pants. Let me let me continue to make the outfits in my head and not with you guys. You guys will see the more outfits to come, but these pieces. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. Okay, there's one more dress. There's one more dress. All right, all stars. And last but not least, this fabulous denim dress. I feel like I've seen this dress on quite a few girlies. Um, and the brand did suggest this dress and at first I was just like, mm, I don't know. I feel like I've seen it on people I'm not sure how it will look on me I'm so happy they sent it because do you see this dress? <laughs> it fits so good It fits so good. I have a bra on it's not a padded bra So I definitely couldn't do a padded bra with this or else it would be a little too tight But I thought I would have issues with my skin bulging out on the sides, but none of that it it just lays really well. So this is my first time putting it on, trying it. So I'm experiencing it with you guys. We're experiencing it together and I love it. Okay, here are the reasons why I'm obsessed with the workmanship, the dress, the fit, all the things. First of all, the buttons. So it is a total, you can open it up, button it all the way up, um, button it down. So I did button everything. But one of the details on this dress that I highly appreciate coming from someone who can actually make a garment from beginning to end is that not only do they have buttons, inside buttons, so they're hidden buttons, um, all of these are just more of um, details or like added features. They're not functional, but they also have snaps. So you don't have any gaping, right? It is a smooth flat finish and you don't even see that a lot in luxury pieces so this is really really good especially for the cost obsessed you can wear a bra with it I am a 34 D um, so I'm wearing a bra like I said not padded so I would highly suggest if you are bustier make sure you wear the dress with something that's not padded because that way, you know, I feel like the dress itself gives you a little bit of support because it's nice and firm. And then also keep in mind, denim has a tendency to give. 
so it will relax on your body and you'll find it molding a little bit to your frame so you can play around you want a denim dress to be fitted you don't want it to be too loose depending on the silhouette and the cut or the look you're going for but in a situation like this where it's meant to be fitted and it's kind of giving that fit and flare with the fuller skirt illusion you want it to be fitted because it will relax on top there are slits in the front which i love because it kind of shows off my western saint laurent boots shows off the western boots we love that it also has big pockets in the front that are functional so you know you can kind of throw your phone in there or whatnot or just put your hands in your pockets and kind of do whatever you need to do i love this guys it's definitely lending to this whole western core that beyonce kind of just is really you know doing it doing it with it um i don't know does she even have a concert coming out i don't know but i have options i have plenty of options i could even throw that black jacket over this I can wear this as is. I love the oversized lapel rather or collar. It just adds interest and it just really emphasizes, you know, it's just everything. The buttons are so cool. It's giving me, y'all, you all know what brand it's giving me. Because you've got the nose there, you've got the eyes, um, the hands. Oh, it's definitely giving me. I'm gonna say it's giving me scaparelli. It's giving me scaparelli. Like let me go buy a bag and some shoes and wear it with the dress and be like, yes, it's a head to toe scapulary look. Dolly, you didn't know? I'm kidding. Anywho, I'm obsessed. Clearly, I'm obsessed. But before I end this portion, this part of the video, shout out to Urban Revival because you came through. Um, I'm obsessed with these pieces. I, I'm trying to do better this season, so I'm going to go and take some old stuff out of my closet to make room for all these pieces because I love every single item. And everything fits so well. Everything, with the exception of nothing. So that just gives me joy. Like I said, and I will repeat this again, I am a true size small, and I ordered everything in a small, and everything fits well so shout out to urban revival because there are a lot of luxury retailers that don't they don't get their sizes right so when you have a brand that's more affordable that has the sizes right and everything down packed i'm here for that so y'all y'all already know what to do go order all your pieces you can thank me later because you know i got you but yes i love it i feel like this is where i end the video and i'm like done i don't even need to talk about anything else spring because i'm just like yes i'm happy but i will continue the video goes on because now we're going to talk about all things spring what i'm not taking into spring 2024 my little wish list um and a few other things so let's get into the second part of this video All right, now that we've gotten that amazing spring haul out of the way, let's get into the things that I'm not taking into spring 2024. Basically, the things that I'm tossing out this season. First up, beauty is pain. I'm sorry, but I am not, I don't feel the need to live by this notion of beauty is pain. Um, I feel like I've talked a little bit about that in my shoe series. If you guys haven't seen my video about shoes that are comfortable and shoes that hurt for no good reason and all of that on Instagram, I feel like I've kind of left that behind. Um, you can look good without being in pain. So this season, it's all about comfort. It's all about ease. It's all about elevation. And I feel like every outfit I just wore proves that. So that's what we're doing for spring 2024. Trust and believe. Another thing that I'm tossing out and not carrying into 2024 spring is that in order to have good quality, it has to be expensive. I feel like this haul that I just did is the epitome of dis disposing that claim, basically, because uh, these pieces are super affordable, but yet they didn't cost me a fortune. You know, it's such a misconception that, you know, the only way to get good quality is by spending thousands of dollars. Yes, I am still a luxury consumer and I will still continue to consume luxury, but I will not continue with this mentality of that the only way to have sustainable clothes or the only way to have things that I can pass down to my daughter or live in my closet for a long time is by spending thousands of dollars. I personally already knew that, but I think sometimes you get caught up with, with everyone around you is like, yeah, you know, and you kind of get caught up and I'm just like, I've seen things fall apart on without leaving the store basically on on the racks 
you know and these are pieces that cost thousands of dollars so I for one know a hundred percent that you don't have to spend a lot to get good quality it's just a matter of picking the right pieces and technically if y'all just roll with me I'll show you the way so that's what well that's what, one thing we're definitely leaving behind in 2020 or 2024 fall and not taking it into spring okay another thing that I am doing for spring 24 and I'm kind of leaving behind is that this notion in my head and I know there are a few people because I've had this conversation on Instagram that kind of thought like me I, I was never a pre-love girly I never bought pre-love um, just because I had these preconceived notions in my head um, but I think after paying, after going to Fashion Fall when I was in, in New York during Fashion Week and just the presentation and seeing the product, I'm kind of, I'm a believer, not even kind of, I'm a believer. So I feel like the next bag that I purchase, that I purchase with my own money, not that a brand sends to me or whatnot, will be pre-loved. It will be pre-loved. So, you know, I, like I said, I wasn't that girl buying pre-love. I was just, I always wanted to, that brand new, new, new. I wanted to go into the store and have the experience. But now I see that you can get that with pre-love. So as we move into this new season, that's going to be my thing. My new bag needs to be pre-love. If y'all see me in the stores, like looking, just be like, mm -mm, no, you said the next bag needs to be pre-love. So into this spring, that's what I'm going to get. Okay, the last thing, this is, a, this is an important one, and I hope that you guys take this one as well. Um, I'm going to be buying what moves my soul. I've kind of always been that person who buys what moves their soul, but I've always been influenced by what's around me, and sometimes I buy things that I know I shouldn't, and hence the items I wish I duped. Um, but it's more so just kind of that feeling amongst and kind of going with the trends even if it doesn't necessarily fit into my personal style because I've, I'm a t troubleshoot type of girl where I will make things work for me but instead of doing that I feel like I just want to do buy things and consume things that just work for me regardless of me trying to make it work but they truly move my soul they truly speak to my personal style and what I'm trying to create this new season so you know there are gonna be things that are trending there are gonna be things that all the girls are buying and I won't lie I'll probably get a little I'll probably get a little tempted but this new season I really just want to focus on the things that I love the things that work into my wardrobe as opposed to the things that I'm seeing all the other girls wearing or buying so that's one thing that I'm finding that it's going to be very important to me as I evolve and as I grow and as my style continues to change and elevate um, I just really want to focus on the things that really speak to me that speak to my lifestyle that speak to the quality that meets my personal standard but I just want to make sure everything works with who I am right now at this particular moment in life so yeah Okay, now let's get into some of the trends that I am paying attention to that I will work or make the trends work with my personal style this season. And first up, if you guys didn't guess the whole cowboy thing, you know, Beyonce came along and, you know, she dropped the album. Pharrell kind of gave us a hint about it. And I feel like we weren't really like, we weren't really ready. We thought it was just like a menswear thing. But anywho, um, yes, Beyonce has made cowboy core cowboy chic i don't even know what they're calling it but the western trend is a thing um i am not one who's very much like western ish but i do have pieces here and there you know even the boots that i'm wearing right now they're saint, saint laurent but i've had them for a long time right so i was just like you know what they work perfect my cape boots also they're kind of western inspired with a modern twist I'm like perfect and then denim denim is always like on trend and it always falls into the category of Western inspired and so I'm just like it all works so it's not me going out to purchase things on in this trend but I have things in my closet that if I just style them together it works and then I'm on trend and I love that for me so very much excited about this whole Western vibe Western thing going on I'm here for it it's fun it's easy to wear you can do it with things that are in your closet I think uh, the thing to pay attention when it comes to spring trends it's not necessarily that you have to run out and buy everything that everyone's telling you to buy but it's all about styling the things that are ready in your wardrobe so before I even thought about it I, I picked out this you know I picked out not this dress but the other dress and some of the other pieces but they work within the trend so it's all about having a look at what's in your closet first and then kind of making it work within the trend so love that for me shoes this is a fun one i think we've seen a lot of 
the shoes and things that have kind of trickled down from 2023 we're going to continue to see them in the beginning of the year i did a trend report if you have not seen the trend report that i created make sure you watch it we're basically going to see a continuation of what i already predicted so you're going to see black ballet flats um it's not going anywhere if anything more and more brands are producing them in different styles and different silhouettes and i'm here for that i think one thing i didn't mention was i, th I don't think i talked about loafers and loafers are huge um, luckily another trend that I have a lot of that's why sometimes you have to really be careful about what you take out of your closet um, the only thing I did add to my closet is, are those Gucci platforms which I'm obsessed with they're so good they're so delicious and did you see the way they looked with that outfit but yes I'm very happy I picked them up I also have very old Gucci um, loafers so I've got quite a few that I will be rocking I even brought out a pair of like my Todd like driving loafers so that's gonna be a big trend guys so if you don't have a great pair of ballet flats or loafers make sure you you know make sure you look at some because they're everywhere and the beauty about that when they're everywhere the luxury retailers have them fast fashion has them mid-range has them so there's so many options out there so get on the trend and whatever I can find from urban revival as well I will definitely link them for you guys so yeah for shoes, you, you gotta have those. And obviously, when the summertime comes around, I think I'll talk more about like sandals and whatnot, but I feel like what's important right now, ballet flats, loafers. In terms of accessories, we're seeing a lot of statement pieces. Statement, statement, statement. I think because people are trying to figure out how to, to lend themselves to this quiet luxury trend, but still add their personality. And I feel like you can add your personality with your accessories. So accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. You already know I've been accessorizing. Well, not with not with the microphone, but with the jewelry, with the pearls. If you've been following me, you know I've been wearing a lot of pearls. I've been wearing a lot of gold. I've been wearing a lot of silver. I'm just throwing it all on because I feel like it just adds so much interest to your outfit. So don't hesitate to layer. Do what do what your spirit moves you basically. So if you want to throw on five necklaces, go for it. Go for it. In the words of someone who left a comment on my on one of my posts on Instagram for buying a dupe. Who gonna check me, boo? So if you want to layer, go ahead and layer. Have fun with your fashion. And I think the best way to have fun with your fashion is to accessorize as much as possible. Okay, so in terms of bags, we're seeing a lot of East West bags. I spoke about East West bags. I have one. I think I have one already. I can't. I have a few now. But that Bottega Andiamo is my latest, and I love it. I didn't really think I was gonna love this trend, but the more I carry that bag in particular, I'm obsessed with the trend. I'm here for it. I am not mad at it. In addition to that, I think we're seeing more, not that I think we're seeing more more clutches. That is the reason why I picked that small east-west option because it has a tendency to look like a clutch, but it's also very east-west. And I love that for me because I, I, I'm i all about getting that cost per wear this season. So we're doing that with those kind of bags. So yeah, keep that in mind. All right, and then to close off the trends, quiet luxury slash preppy chic. Um, Miu Miu is really killing it with that preppy polo look. Um, quiet luxury it's not going anywhere we're gonna continue to see it but I think you know in addition to wearing your classic pieces and your classic silhouettes it's all about accessorizing them to make it your own because not a lot of people want to dress boring right now myself included so we can still lend to the trend but make it our own and I think you can do that through your accessories um, polos and all of that stuff I don't know I think as the season progresses I'll see how it fits into my style not so much I don't have I don't think I have any polo sh shirts and I'm Technically not going to go out and buy any, if I'm being honest. But dress shirts, all day, every day. Left to me, I'll wear a nice crisp dress shirt every day with a gorgeous pair of pants or, um, or shorts or jeans or whatnot. So that's something I can get on, and I'm here for that. Also with the classic skirts, all the classic silhouettes. Give, give them all to me. Give them all to me. I love them. I love them. So very much here for that, but we'll see how I incorporate that preppy aspect of things. I'm not sure. I, I don't think I'm going to go out and buy any polos, but... Definitely all the other elements of the preppy chic. I, I'm kind of here for that. So yeah, that's another one. All right, so to close off the video, I'm just going to share some items that I have on my wish list. I don't have a lot. There's really not a lot of things that I want this season, but there are a few things. And I feel like um, one or two you probably would have seen prior. So the Tiffany Elsa Peretti cuff, that's something that I've wanted for a long time. I think I'm just going to pull the trigger and call it a day. Um, this one, the YSL Eye Care Tote. Not not the leather, not the leather, but the raffia version. I actually went in store to have a look at it and the weave, everything is beautiful, but the price tag, I don't know. I don't, I just don't, 
there's no raffia bag in my head that is worth five thousand two hundred dollars i know the hermes option is like a ex stupid expensive because it's very rare and very hard to get but the ysl option is you can walk into a store and pick it up so i'm like why is this fifty two hundred dollars so i was kind of put off a little bit with the price tag but it's, it's so beautiful <laughs> It's so beautiful. And then now that I said that my next bag has to be pre-love, I don't know how I, I don't I don't know how we're gonna do that, but it's it's on my wish list. Um I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so for sunglasses, there are a pair of Bottega aviators that I saw that I love. And I really feel like I need to get them because I feel like it's time for me to get rid of my Tom Ford aviators. If you guys, you you officers that have been rocking with me for a minute, you remember those glasses, but I think I'm over them. I haven't worn them in a long time. So that is the, my spirit telling me that we don't like them anymore. <laughs> and you need to get an updated pair. So that Bottega pair, I think, will be my updated pair because I really like them. I keep on looking at them. I keep on going back to them. I haven't tried them on yet. So I think the next step is for me to actually go in store and try them on, and then I'll convince myself. So yeah. And then, anything in chocolate brown. I am obsessed with chocolate brown. Once upon a time, you couldn't find chocolate brown anywhere. And not once upon a time, long time ago, but like in recent history. So it's only in the last couple of years that we've seen this influx of chocolate brown and it looks good on everyone. So I don't understand why it's taken retailers and brands so long to produce items in chocolate brown. But as far as I'm concerned, give me all the brown. Give me chocolate brown in anything. Leather, boots, bags, anything. I am consuming. Like I finally got that bag and chocolate brown my joy my spirit was happy i already have a really great pair of chocolate brown bottega mules that go perfect with that i've got a nice little chocolate fendi bag so i'm i'm stocking up on chocolate i need to add more clothes oh this brown sequence i'm gonna have it pop up brown sequence skirt chocolate brown Ooh, i think it's um alc mm, it's just delicious it's yummy so yes, give me, all, give me all the chocolate brown. I know chocolate brown is not a traditional color for the spring season, but we're rocking it. Just call chocolate the new black for spring. And in addition to that, we will see plenty of pastel colors like we see every season, and I'm here for that. And we'll also see stripes like we see every season, and I'm here for that too. <laughs> all right, guys, there you have it. My outfit haul with Urban Revivo, the things that I'm tossing out for spring 2024. Let me know, what are you tossing out? What are you not doing this new season? What are you leaving behind and entering this season anew, afresh? Because, you know, that's what spring is all about. It's all about spring cleaning. It's all about getting rid of the trash and leaving things behind that we don't want in our lives and starting afresh. So I would love to know what you guys are doing for spring 2024. What trends are you interested in? Which of the Urban Revival pieces did you add to cart? Like, are you not, like, insane, like, dying? I love everything. But let me know which of the looks was your favorite. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching my video shout out to urban revival once again for just sponsoring this a portion of the video for sending me all these amazing clothes trust and believe you will see me wearing them over and over again because your girl likes to get that cost per wear um also if you are not following me on instagram and tiktok make sure you follow me on instagram it's odd by Moni. on tiktok it is odd by Moni as well follow me across all the platforms if you are new here and you love my vibe and you love my style and all the things just go ahead and subscribe because we have fun here so if you love fashion, if you love high-low fashion especially, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you never miss a video. Also, don't forget to check out my website, oddbymonica.com. The blog turns 12 this year, so you know there's plenty of content, plenty of content. And we do a lot of great giveaways. Guys, we're almost at 50,000. When I hit 50,000, I'm giving away a Fendi wallet. So make sure you all subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hopefully you will be the winner of that beautiful Fendi wallet. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, all stars.